at, we found that people who inject drugs with hepatitis C and ongoing injection drug use have high rates of completion of treatment and even with imperfect adherence to treatment, high rates of SVR. So uh, we looked at four factors to assess adherence. One was hepatitis C viral load at week four and so we were looking for it to be under 200, so essentially suppressed. Uh, we did find that we use that as kind of a proxy for early adherence and we found that if people had a suppressed viral load at week four that was significantly associated with achieving SVR. So basically if they were taking it well enough early on to get a suppressed viral load they were likely to continue to cure. If they were not taking it and their viral load was still a million it was unlikely that they were going to achieve cure. The next thing we looked at was actually to see if there was interruptions on treatment. So this patient population has a lot of factors that can result in interruption, incarceration, hospitalization, going into inpatient drug treatment programs. A lot of our patients were unstably housed, so had their medications stolen. And so we identified 13 patients who had interruptions on treatment, which we defined as you know, some cessation in treatment with subsequent resumption of treatment. And so that could range from three days or 70 days, depending on the circumstances. And it, uh, some people had it at week two, some people had it at week 10, so it was varying time points. The next thing we looked at was how many bottles of the medication they completed. So we gave them three, the goal was to complete three bottles of medication. Some patients completed less than one bottle, some patients completed one to two, some completed two to three, and some completed all three. 87% of patients completed all three bottles. Um, and then the last thing we looked at was the timing of end of treatment. And so that was a proxy for kind of day-to-day -day pill adherence. So ideally, if you're treating a patient for 12 weeks, they would finish at 12 weeks. But if they miss a pill here and there, they may finish later. And so we found that 21 patients actually finished exactly on time, which is pretty impressive in this patient population. 46% finished after the 12-week time period. So did any of those things matter? The week for viral load mattered. Um, having an interruption on treatment did not impact SVR. Taking, uh, completing the full treatment course did impact SVR, but actually completing two or more pill bottles was associated with SVR. Completing less than that, no one achieved SVR. Um, but finishing late, so having bad, not having perfect day-to-day -day pill adherence was not associated with SVR.